guys or welcome back to my channel my name is Kashar and today I'm gonna to be taking you guys to work with me first I'm gonna start off just explaining exactly what I do I am a sleep tech basically what I do is I run sleep studies on people all night long yeah I watch people while they sleep but not just watch people while they sleep because a lot of people always ask when they come in are you literally gonna be watching me all night I don't watch you all night. Like, we have other patients and other stuff that we have to do. But the ma majority of the time, I'm just looking at the screen to score you and to score your respiratory. I'm not just sitting here watching you sleep, like, staring at you the whole time in the camera. No, I'm not doing that. But the majority of the night, what we basically do is just score. We tell, like, what stage sleep they're in, if they have any, um respiratory problems meaning if you have sleep apnea you can have nar narcolepsy you can have insomnia and like bristles leg syndrome any little thing that's happening like preventing you from getting a good night's sleep at night you basically come to me and i run like a sleep test um a sleep study test on you This is our tech room, and this right here is usually where I sit. Well, first, we're gonna come in and get our paperwork, the stuff that we need. This is our supply room, and when you come in, you come in that door right there, and you just grab your box right here, and all the boxes have room numbers on it, and have all the wires and stuff that you need. This is mine right here. And I just basically keep all like my cream and stuff that I use to put on my patients in here. Is one of our rooms. That's how it look. It's basically like a hotel room, yeah. They do have a bathroom. They have the shower. Like the shower, the toilet, and then a mirror. And there is me. set up on how I have everything out. You have the box. This is the um, 4500 box. This is the box that we use to hook up all the wires and it's so, so easy. I love this box. I don't like the um, 7000 box that we use, but this box right here, as you can see, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like you hook the legs right here, the EKGs, the chin, and these is just that you know which one needs to go in in what spot that you put on the head and it shows you the area that they go on the head so it's pretty like simple very very simple that's why i like this one um you have your paste this is the paste that we use to put on the patients um on these wires right here to be able to hook up and so they can stay in the person's um on the person's head or hair however you want to put it this is like the thermistor and the um thing nothing is like the little oxygen thingy but nothing blows out of course it's just monitor and let me know like their temperature of their breathing and if they do stop breathing um this is like the alcohol prep basically we use a q-tip to clean all the surfaces that we do apply the wires you have these posies right here that you use just to hold all the wires together like i said these wires right here is the wires that you the electrodes that you put on the head these are the ones that actually go on their face you have two on your by your eyes two on your chin one on your forehead and two on your chest and those ones on your chest just monitor your heart you have your snore mic right here you has the um you have your spo2 that basically monitor your oxygen here are your respiratory belts and your leg leads the leg leads just basically monitor if you have like restless legs syndrome 
it lets me know how many times you move your leg at night white box that you see right there that's the box that they will be able to hear me on and i'll be able to hear them and the camera is right above the bed so they don't have to press a button or anything like that if they have to go to the restroom all they have to do is just simply just call out to me and i'll just be able, i'll be able to hear them and come in and do whatever i have to do just unhook the box what's that the gloves area easier so when you walk in the door bam they go to gloves and the sanitizer when you walk out the door so I done made it up front. I have lobby tonight. I have to check the patients in and take them back to their room. You do now. I can't be too all out in the open because of HIPAA. Y'all know that, of course, if you're familiar with the medical field, you already know, like, we can't do that. So, yeah, this is lobby. This is what, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath because I just walked up here. And it's a long, wild way. Get these charts and stuff situated and check the voicemail make sure we don't have any cancellations and if we do call people back and reschedule appointments and stuff like that so yeah okay guys so we end up having 11 patients show i supposed to have been 12 people show up tonight but we had a couple cancellations and well one cancellation so um we only have 11 patients tonight i will come back to you guys a little bit later because like i said of course i can't show you any like the screen or anything like that because of HIPAA because it does show the patient name and like personal information so but yeah I think my other patient just showed up so I'm about to get him checked in and then go to the back and get everything else started All right everything looks good if you need anything don't hesitate to call out to me okay you have a good night just did my bio cast and that's what we just asked a couple of questions to see if the wires and stuff are working um I have a CPAP patient and I also have a PSG patient. A PSG patient is basically just a regular standard hookup. Um, you have to do anything extra, just basically square the stages of sleep and their respiratory issues. And yeah, and my CPAP is a titration. So basically, if they're having respiratory issues, I go up on their pressure and just get them finalized. So in the morning time when they leave, they'll be good to go. They don't have to worry about anything else. And after that, um, smooth sailing for the rest of the night. So, hey guys, so it's my break time and we ordered sweet peppers. I don't know if y'all had any in y'all hometown. Let me take my badge off. But, it's still early, but we don't really like, what our breaks since we like, really at the computer all night or whatever, we have enough space. Like, we usually just eat our food at our desk. So, I'm about to warm my own food up. Like I said, we got sweet peppers still in. It's like, I got shrimp nachos. So these are nachos. And it came with some shrimp. And here's the cheese. With some um, peppers, hot peppers. Some of the onions, some chives, some tomatoes. And it's like sauce that they have to go with. It. And it's so freaking good. Um, at our facility, we do give our patients breakfast. It's not fancy, of course, but it's, you know, to hold them over until when they leave and they can actually go home and cook or actually stop by somewhere because we have to get them up kind of early in the morning. My shift time is... My shift time is 6 to um, 6.30. Well, 6.30 to 6.30. Sometimes 7.30, but I don't have to stay over in the morning time. So, yeah. And we tend to, like, go get our patients up around about... 5 15 5 30 and we'll get them breakfast and stuff and shower and it'll give them enough time to get everything to get like take a shower and stuff before the nurse practitioner actually comes in and give them their results so that's why we give them you know breakfast in the morning time the linen back there we don't do linen we actually have a housekeeper that actually do come and do linen in the morning time like change the sheets and clean the bathroom and stuff like that i know in some facilities they actually have well the techs have to do all that but thank god we don't which i don't mind doing that but um sometimes we do we might have to like um you know like after a holiday or something like that and everybody's out and we don't have any choice but to do it lay back like i love it it's like really the best job that i've ever had and i'm probably gonna be around and doing this for a long long time because I love what I do. Of course, you have your rough nights where um, you have some difficult patients, but I mean, like I said, that comes with any job. But the rewarding feeling at the end of the night is when a patient, when you fix your patient, when I say fix, 
like you get them titrated correctly on the correct pressure and when you go in the room in the morning time and get them up and they're like wow like i have not slept like that in a long time and it kind of makes you feel good because you just feel like damn you know like i did my job you know not saying that you don't feel like you do your job if you don't have a cpap patient but i'm just saying <laughs> I had to like blood. That's the only thing I don't like. Like sometimes y'all, I've been and took out my makeup. I wouldn't even try to keep it on. I would just take it off. And I'd probably go in the patient room and they'd probably look at me like, you are not the same person y'all one time. I wore my wig to work and like the patient I had had me so stressed out, I took my wig off. <laughs> and I was stressed because I was determined to get this man fixed because he was struggling and breathing at night. And so, I took my wig off and I went in the room and I was like, and his, you know, he was thanking me and I was like, yeah, I said, because you had me stressed out. He was like, I did. I said, yeah, you made me take my wig off. He was like, I ain't make it. Yeah. I said, yeah, my head is. And we both got a good laugh out there. So, yeah, I took my wig off. Baby, I was stressed. But you know what? I was determined to get that man fixed. And I got him fixed and I was good. But I did not put that wig back on for the rest of the night because I was through with it, honey. I was through. Good morning. It's about 5.15. If you want to sit up on the side of the bed, I'm going to come in there and get those wires off of you, okay? Now, the next process is basically we're going to clean all these wires, disinfect all these wires, and put our box back where it's supposed to be. So, we're almost at the end of the day. Very, very close. It is close, okay? <laughs> extra bright and it's gonna really get bright when I walk in this room but I got all my stuff right here and I'm taking it back okay so it's 6 15 I'm about to get ready to go get on this highway and get home so I can get in this bed because I am tired but yeah I hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments um in the comment box if y'all did like I said I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys